Hi everyone, this is Sonu Satyadas. Today we are going to see how we can create and host a static web application in the AWS S3 buckets. So for that, first we are going to prepare our web application. So I'm going to create a new folder and let's give a name called sample web. And I can create some files inside the static web application. So let me open this with Visual Studio Code. I can create an index file which can be the starting file of our static web application. Let me give the name as index.html and I can add some HTML code into this. So usually if I want to add this HTML code into this, I can say HTML. So here is the sample template of our HTML. So let me add a heading for this so we can give static web application. And I can add some paragraph so let me go and specify this is a sample web application demonstrating the simply I can say uh, static web hosting using s3 buckets So I can add some static assets here such as uh, CSS files, uh, JavaScripts and images. So I'm going to create a folder and give the name as images. And let, let me go and download a simple image. So I can say let me download an image from Google. Check whether this is okay. Yep, this is an image, JPG image. I'm going to save this as nature.jpg. So that's enough. So let me give this image just below this paragraph. So I can say ngsrc equal to images slash nature alternate text I can say that's it also I can add some CSS styles so for that I'm going to define a styles.css and say body text align center then I'll say H2, I can give color on red, that's enough. And I can use this inside of my HTML, so link href equal to styles.css and I can say this is style sheet. Also, I can add some script if you want. So I can add a simple script file. Then, then I'm going to define a simple function. Let's say show and say hello alert you click me so I have a simple JavaScript function that I'm going to refer from my HTML file okay now when I click on this 
image I want to call that show function. So it's so simple that I'm going to run this application locally. So I'm using this live server option. Yes, I have this image ready. And when I click on this image, I'm getting this alert. Simple. So this is a static web application currently running from this local host on port number 5500. So now I'm planning to host this application in the AWS S3 bucket uh, as a static web application. For that, let me go and create a bucket. So I have logged into my AWS console and then I'm into the S3 bucket console. As you can see, if you are uh, just logged into the S3, you can search for uh, S3 and you, can, you will see the S3 console here. So now we can go and create a bucket. So let me give a name as static web just a, a random number then I can specify the location I am selecting the current location as AP South 1 that is Mumbai and I disable this ACL access control list and I am just uh, removing this checkbox that is blocking all the public access so I just removed all these checkboxes and let's acknowledge this and I can go and enable so let's go and create this bucket so now we have this bucket created and as you can see this is the bucket which does not have any kind of files inside it but if I want to enable the static web hosting for this S3 bucket First, I need to go to the properties of this bucket, scroll down to the bottom and you will see an option for static web hosting. By default, this option is disabled. But if you want to enable the static web hosting using this S3 bucket, you can click on this edit, just enable this option. And then it, you need to specify that I want to host a static website. And in the index doc, document section, you can specify an index.html file. So in our static website, we have this index.html as our index document. And if you have an error page, which you want to show and in case of errors that you can specify here, and there is no redirection rules, just go and click the save changes that's it you have enabled the uh, s3 bucket uh, static web hosting option and you can see this and here is the url for the s3 bucket but still this bucket is not public that means if you are uploading this files inside this s3 bucket which is not publicly accessible to make it publicly accessible you can go to the permissions and configure a bucket policy to configure the bucket policy you can click on this edit which will give you the policy generator page where you can uh, either type the policy in the json format or you can generate the policy using this policy generator window in the right side so in the policy generator, I'm going to search for the S3. So here I can search for S3. And inside this S3, I can search for the action get object. Because I want to provide only the get object permission. Because uh, get object is the permission that is going to give the uh, access permission for the objects in our S3 bucket. After selecting this get object, you can specify the resource. 
click on this add resource where you can uh, specify the service so i'm saying my s3 service because i want to give access to the s3 service and the resource resource type i can either specify all resources means all the s3 buckets or i can specify the object a specific object inside the s3 bucket or a selected set of objects in a in an s3 bucket so in my case i can specify the bucket name here and the object name so bucket name can be the static web then 8943 that is the bucket name i have and this object name either i can specify a specific uh, object file name or i can specify the star which means that i'm giving access to all the files from this s3 bucket click on this add resource so that means you can see here in the resource i'm giving permission for accessing all the uh, objects from this static web 8943 bucket also i can specify the principle that means who can give the permission means we are giving the permission to whom so i can specify star which means that i am giving permission to all users uh, without any authentication that means i can give the permission to anonymous users as well so once the policy is generated you can uh, specify the name for this policy i can give the name as bucket get permission So after that you can save those changes which means any files that you are uploading into this bucket is now publicly accessible as you can see there is a label publicly accessible has uh, visible is visible now so now you can go back to the object section and start uploading the files in our s3 bucket so what i can do is let me go and add those files from this website so let let me go and add the files first so these are the files and i also want to add the images folder so let's add the folder so this is the images folder that i want to add okay as you can see this is a list of files that i want to upload so after you upload these files, click on this upload button. So now the upload is completed and you can see the index page, script file, styles file and the images folder. Since we have already enabled static web hosting for this uh, S3 bucket, we can get this uh, domain url for our static website so let's go to the properties scroll down to the bottom and here you will see the url for the static website so you can click on this url which will give you the static website as you can see the, now the website is running from the s3 bucket and this is the uh, bucket url and this is our index page which is uh, loaded from the s3 bucket